Hello and welcome to another update video about Polygon Matic. Um, yeah, in line with yesterday's updates and also signals on the Telegram channel for channel members, um, I said that it is only now very, very difficult for Matic to move to the upside from where we were because we had broken below that 80 cent level. So when we started to move up here, yeah, I highlighted the bullish potential of this, but I also told you that if we go below 80 cents, this will most likely mean that this imminent bullish potential will not be realized, Yeah, that the market is not going to do it. And then when we dropped out of this channel, that was the next warning signal we retested from below and we're now heading down further in what I believe is now a more extended, a more complex correction. It was, um, It is generally uh, unlikely to see such a type of correction because it would be, in my opinion now, a very rare correction. It is a W, X, Y, X, Z correction. That's at the moment how I see this. This is one of the rarest pattern that, patterns that you get in corrective waves. Um, it is really rare. But at the moment, due, I guess due to the nature of this current bear market, um, we also see it in other markets. I think I have seen it on the silver chart yeah, for silver futures. Um, and gold, I think, as well. So yeah, we've got that sort of kind of complex correction, which doesn't, which which is not bearish. Yeah, I mean, Matic is still holding so well. The swing low, the the low of the current bear market was at thirty cents, thirty two cents. Yeah, and um, we've moved up in an impulse, and now I think we are still coming down in this wave too. So we just have to expect another move down here into this green target area, which is between forty seven and 69 cents when we came into this area for the first time we've bounced off yeah and um we then um yeah did not realize the bullish potential but you know i, I basically warned you yesterday that this is probably not going to work out anymore and um again this is usually the area where i expect a turnaround and we had one here and we might give it another go that is good for everybody who wants to buy medic oops buy medic a little bit lower and we are on our way to that. So at the moment, I'm looking at a possible possible um, support here in this green area around 60 cents. That would be how I see this, yeah? Because um, if it is a wave Z, then we are probably gonna get an ABC in this wave Z. So this could now be a wave A, but probably only the A. Um, again, we don't, it, it would be a three wave move. So most likely you're gonna get something like this. A, B, C. Yeah, we don't know yet if the wave A will be a five or a three wave move. That's both possible. Um, but either way, I would then expect a move up and another final move down that could take us into the region around 60 cents. Yeah. Why do I say 60? It's also because we have this kind of descending channel, descending wedge, you might even call it, um, where a support level would be, depending on when we reach it, around that area. Yeah, maybe 60 to 65 cents, and then we have another chance to reverse to the upside. We'll see if that works. But to be honest, there isn't anything really bearish on this chart until we drop to 47 cents, uh, below 47 cents. I know that is a long way to go, but it is just, you, you have these, that's all based on Fibonacci levels and Fibonacci retracements. And because the market is so volatile, and the move to the upside from the low basically gave us a, what was it, roughly a 3x, a bit more than that. These Fibonacci levels are so extended and therefore the target possible reversal area is so large. That is just one reason why crypto is often referred to as being risky because you get these huge areas where you, you sometimes just can't specify it further, okay? So just you need to have that sort of risk tolerance, yeah? And you need to be able to deal with that mentally. Uh, but yeah, so my view is we get back into this area, which is good for anybody who missed the recent lows, yeah? And, um, but I think we're not heading bearish here. It's just a correction in an overall possible breakout pattern, yeah? Only below 47 cents, I would have to assume that this move to the upside, it was indeed only corrective then and not impulsive. So. It's a bit like the thousand dollar level for Ethereum, but you can see how far away we are from that. So it's at the moment still uh, looking good and no reason to panic at the moment for me. Okay, and that's my update about Medic. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.